yesterday I don't think the pictures really did my pocket justice because I felt it was very dark I had to try and manipulate them a lot in my editing software and I still don't think it gave you very good pictures so I just thought I'd do a quick video and see if you could get a better sense of what it's actually like um, so this is the full view of it um, I think I put the measurements on yesterday it's 3 inches across by 24 inches long that isn't any particular reason other than that was the size of this uh, Egyptian cotton that I had I didn't specifically do it that way um, I will bring it in shortly um, zoom it in close up for you and this is the back and I got asked if the opening went all the way down and it doesn't really it just goes about six inches down um, can you see that there and really the only reason that is there is to just emphasize the fact that it's not a solid piece of work a panel that it does open and there is space in there not that i will put anything in there nothing physical anyway or tangible i'll just pull it in a little bit you may get a shadow because it's quite dark right so i've come in now um, so yeah that opening is about six inches down and inside I lined it with silk now somebody asked me why a pocket I think the thing is I just wanted something for me um, and I started making pockets when I was at university because we had to do a lot of research and justify everything that we did give a reason why we wanted to do something we had to do a lot of theory so to combine the theory with the practical I made pockets and they for me represented a space where I could put my children to keep them safe and also a space for me to put emotions that I wanted to be kept private that were precious and I didn't want people to be able to see so really in this pocket there would be if there was something in here at the very bottom you wouldn't be able to really get your hand down there um, to get anything out of the bottom so it's kind of like the bottom is cross stitch and French knots here French knot band there and then this is the piece of the nightgown that belonged to my great grandmother who was a midwife I never had the full nightgown I was never in possession of that I was just given this scrap of fabric and told that was where it had come from and then these are lace at the top not special lace to me it's vintage lace but it hasn't come from somebody I know it's not passed through the family or anything they're just very nice pieces of old lace that I added to the surface it's like three layers and then we have more French knots here and cross stitch here and at the back we have web stitches and this was just joined together with simple buttonhole up the back opening just what not even buttonhole lace just buttonhole stitch up the back that continued around the opening try and get that better in the camera for you there just buttonhole around the edge of the opening and then again around the top now I'm just going to put this in my bedroom um, I'll just hang it up so I can see it so I can look at it regularly because I do like it it's very pretty and I have so much stuff in this house as you can imagine and some things I often think when I'm gone you know obviously I'm going to be gone one day my kids will have to sort all this out well, a lot of it, they can give it to whoever, um, but things like this that have special cloth in that mean something to me. My kids are always told this belonged to such a person, you must never take this out of the family, you must always give this to a relative. So they do know which pieces, I mean all my work's special, but there are some pieces that are more special than others and my kids are aware of those and they know which pieces they are. So they wouldn't, you know, see that piece of nightgown go out of the family which is nice to know, you know, it's reassuring. So there's my pockets, I've just folded it up so you can have a better look. I wanted better pictures yesterday and I was disappointed, so that's why I've done this now.